Cedar Heights in Viewfort is not normally associated with the gun-related violence that has plagued the southern town. But misfortune, it is said, often comes in pairs. So, on the heels of last week's shooting of an early morning jogger, while in the company of his partner, comes another shooting incident early Thursday afternoon, not far from last week's shooting. The emergency services in the south were summoned to two separate shooting incidents, the first at Latuni Vie Fort. Here's Anwar de Turville, Assistant Divisional Officer of the St. Lucia Fire Service. At 12.03 on the 19th of May 2022, the St. Lucia Fire Service, Vie Fort Fire Station, received a call for assistance at Latuni Vie Fort near the Solar Farms area. An EMS crew responded and found an 18-year-old male patient who had multiple puncture wounds across his body. That patient was found in a stable condition, was transported to St. Jude's Hospital in a stable condition, and the scene was left in care of police officers from the Beaufort Fire Station, Beaufort Police Station. Less than an hour later, the emergency services were summoned, this time to Cedar Heights. Another shooting incident, once again, the shooting victim was an 18-year-old. At 12.52, the Beaufort, police, the Beaufort Fire Station received another call for assistance, this time in the Cedar Heights area, where a male patient was said to be injured. An EMS crew responded and found an 18-year-old male patient with multiple puncture wounds. That patient was found in a stable condition, was transported in a stable condition to St. Jude's Hospital, um, and the scene was again left in care of officers from the Beaufort Police Station. News forces Desmond Colimo captured the scenes of the shooting incidents at Cedar Heights and Latuni. The crime scene investigators were combing the sites for evidence as they began the process of getting the perpetrators of the shootings that resulted in two 18-year-old males suffering serious injuries within one hour of the other at two separate locations in Viefort. One witness who withheld her identity and requested that her image be concealed said she heard a number of bullets fired in the area. I heard like around five to six shots burst like in the afternoon. It was maybe around after one. So I was at my room, eh? but at first they fired like three. They fired one after and they fired a couple more after that. So I'm not too sure who, who, how many, but like around three to seven. So. Police are still at the early stages of the investigations of the two shooting incidents on Thursday afternoon. Many of the victims of the shooting incidents in VA Fort are young males in their late teens or early 20s. Stanley Lucien for the HGS News Force.